strange features found on tanks. Whether it was equipment to let thirsty crew members stay inside their tanks and be able to brew up a pot of tea, or humorous instruction manuals aimed at entertainment, tank warfare has delivered many unorthodox and interesting features to meet the tactical and personal needs of the crew members inside. Here's a look into six of the most interesting of them to have ever been fitted onto tanks. A toilet inside the Russian T-14 Armada tank. Any circumstances that would lead to tank crews leaving their vehicles poses a direct threat to their success on the battlefield. Unfortunately, this includes stopping and getting out to relieve themselves. For decades, tank crews have had to make do inside the vehicle with empty water bottles and ammo boxes as the only means of performing their bodily functions. Seeking to address this unpleasant business, Russian T-14 Armata tanks were first introduced in 2015 and then later upgraded in 2018 to include a toilet. Ilya Baranov, who was the Russian Director for Quality and Information Technologies at the Urals Design Bureau of Transport and Machine Building, explained how the addition of toilets was a part of the new life support efforts to improve the quality of life for crew members inside. With the addition of toilets, Russian Command hopes that tank crews will be more able to perform lengthy combat missions, staying out in the field for longer periods than ever before possible. The Secret Doorbell on a Japanese Tank The Japanese Type 95 Hago light tank featured a fake rivet on the outside of the vehicle at the rear, which in fact concealed a doorbell button for soldiers to use to alert the tank crew inside of their presence. Standing outside the tank, a soldier could push the secret buzzer to signal the crew inside that friendly forces were nearby. Unlike most doorbells, this design was not used to signal that the soldiers outside wanted to enter the tank. The interior of these tanks was way too cramped as it was, with the three-man crew working inside of them, so adding extra personnel was clearly not the intention. While some of the information about these rivet doorbells is speculative, many believe that they were used to ensure tanks did not mistakenly reverse over the soldiers standing behind them. During engagements with the enemies, tanks could quickly reverse and reposition themselves into strategic locations for battle. While this mobility was beneficial for the crews, it was a hazard for the infantrymen standing in close proximity to the tank. If you think learning about tanks is cool, you'll love World of Tanks where you can drive them into battle yourself. Are your friends tired of you dragging them to reenactments? Now you can see over 550 tanks and ambush the opposition directly from your living room. World of Tanks is totally free, so there's no excuses. Get your friends together for the ultimate team game where you can all roll out in your individual tanks looking super cool. If you love history, of course you do, that's why you're here. Then you'll love playing World of Tanks, where you can see the inside of authentic models and have a cup of tea alongside the Tommies before sneaking through the forest of Westfield, or charging in guns blazing and meeting your foes head-on in the busy streets of Himmelsdorf. With a global community and over 40 battle arenas, there's always a new way to play World of Tanks. Start today by signing up for free using the code TANKMANIA and get special access to the Excelsior Tank, as well as 250k credits, 7 days premium access, and 3 exclusive exclusive tanks that can be used in up to 10 battles. World of Tanks, because why wouldn't you want to drive a tank? Tea making facilities on British tanks. Beginning with the ongoing development of the British Centurion tank in the 1950s, every tank designed in the United Kingdom has since featured an apparatus for boiling water. For British tank crews, stopping to boil water for a cup of tea was risky business that could jeopardize the safety of the entire crew, as well as the tank itself. After World War II, a study showed that almost 40% of all armored unit casualties resulted from crew members stepping outside their vehicles. In one catastrophic example, the British 22nd Armored Brigade lost 14 tanks, 9 half-tracks, 4 gun carriers, and 2 anti-tank guns in 15 minutes because the tank crews left their vehicles to brew tea on the side of the road. The 22nd Armored Brigade had been ordered to smash through the German lines and help liberate the Normandy region. On June 12, 1944, less than a week after the invasion of Normandy, a joint American, British, and Canadian force was moving through the countryside of France, driving back the German troops. Pulling over to the side of the road, officers gathered at a nearby house to discuss their battle plans, grabbing the opportunity to get out and boil hot water for a pot of tea. Many crew members left their tanks and gathered together on the verge of the road. Unknown to them, a German Tiger tank commanded by Michael Whitman, together with four other Tiger I tanks, were within 600 feet of them. 
Seeing an opportunity to inflict massive damage on the unprepared British, Whitman drove his tank down the road and blasted through the line of unmanned British tanks, firing round after round into them. A valuable lesson was learned from this catastrophe, instigating the reason for future tank designs to include tea-making equipment on the inside of the vehicle. The clamshell hatch on the Merkava tank. Located at the rear of the Israeli Defense Forces Merkava tank, twin doors open up together into a vertical hatch to provide protection to crew members and additional personnel when entering or exiting the vehicle. Shaped like a clamshell, these doors were the product of design plans from the early 1970s, and their function reflects their shape. Because the doors opened vertically, soldiers standing in the doorway were offered much more protection from stray bullets or pieces of shrapnel flying around. The Israelis implemented these doors on the Merkava to complement the tank's main function and act as a transport vehicle to quickly and safely replenish the vehicle's ammunition supplies, or to provide enough room for up to six additional troops in the back, and also to act as a medevac vehicle for carrying up to three wounded soldiers on stretchers out of a combat situation. Having the engine placed at the front of the tank instead of the rear increased the size of the internal storage compartment and provided extra frontal armor protection, so the tank was able to drive into combat in its foremost role as a main battle tank and doubling up as an infantry fighting vehicle or also a field ambulance. U.S. Army paint scheme on the German Panther tank. By the winter of 1944, the Allied forces were well aware of the capabilities and the reputation of the German Panther tanks. With impressive mobility, supreme firepower, and a record of success on the battlefield, this German medium tank was a grim sight for Allied soldiers. To make matters worse, as Germany became more desperate towards the end of the war, deceptive measures were taken to give the Panther tanks even more of an edge. During the Battle of the Bulge, German commanders planned and carried through a special operation codenamed Grief, painting American stars and other unit markings on the outside of German Panther tanks. They hoped to keep their tanks camouflaged in battle until they could achieve an advantage. To further the deception, sheet metal was cut and applied to the Panther tank's turrets to make them look more like the American M10 tank's unique shape. Gathering as many English-speaking German soldiers as possible, Operation Grief also outlined how British and American uniforms were to be worn by the German crews inside. All these cosmetic changes made the German Panther tanks hard to tell apart from the American M10 tanks. However, subtle designs on the outside of the disguised tanks, such as a yellow triangle on the back of the vehicle, revealed their true identity to their own side. Overall, Operation Grief was successful in sowing confusion and paranoia among the Allied ranks, and on more than one occasion, this resulted in friendly fire. Interesting Instruction Manuals for World War II German Panzer Crews Instruction manuals for tank crews in World War II might be the last place you'd think to look for a good laugh, but the German Panzer VI Tiger and Panzer V Panther tanks both featured manuals written in a comic style. Filled with humor in a poetic fashion, the Tigerfibel and Pantherfibel manuals featured cartoons, jokes, and poems which were aimed at lifting the spirits and morale of the crew members inside. While the day-to-day -day operation and practical instructions was still included, these manuals were wildly different from the tedious, sterile language of other German tank manuals. Today, they are still in circulation as collector's items, and for German-speaking people, their humor and cartoon style still entertains almost 80 years after their initial release. <laughs> Toilets, cartoons, and fake doorbells may not be in the usual vocabulary when tanks are discussed. However, each of these features offers a glimpse into the very real demands of war. The crew members working inside a tank may be trained soldiers, but they are still people. People who get bored, have to go to the bathroom, and are prone to run over things when driving in reverse. The unique features that were developed to meet these seemingly simple concerns are anything but trivial. For tank crews, any slight lapse in judgment may mean the end for both their vehicle and their lives. Something as innocent as stopping to make a cup of tea on the side of the road or getting out to relieve themselves could cost their countries hundreds of thousands of dollars in equipment. Therefore, it's no surprise that designers and engineers labor intensely to minimize any shortcomings of the crew and provide features that could alert them of friendly units outside, help them stay comfortable and less likely to leave the tank, and entertain them as best as possible.
As modern tank warfare continues to develop and utilities such as toilets are added inside the hulls of tanks, who knows what interesting features will be added next? Perhaps in the future, tanks will include kitchens and showers.